Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Zach Sopak, and I wanna show you how to properly use the Tone Curve tool. This is something that I feel like a lot of people don't fully understand, so they only do a simple S curve or they just disregard the tool altogether, but it's really powerful and you can pull off a lot just using this one simple tool. So let's get into it. So let's first talk about what the tone curve is. And just as a reference today, I'm gonna to be using Lightroom Mobile to show how I use the tone curve, but this will carry over to any sort of desktop editor, uh, whether that's for photo or video, honestly, or any other sort of mobile apps that you use. The tone curve tool is a linear line that runs from left to right, bottom left to top right. At that bottom left section of that tone curve is your black point at the top right is your white point. Now what this line allows you to do is also add different points along the line, raise and lower those points to adjust the brightness and darkness of certain values of your image. So if you're familiar with Lightroom, you can kind of think of it like you're raising your shadow and your highlight slider up and down, but this actually gives you more of a exact point where you can add in that contrast to certain portions of your image. Now the way that people typically use a tone curve is they'll implement what is called an S-curve. And an S-curve is where you're adding one point in the shadow part of your image, one point in the highlight part of the image. You're raising the highlights, you're lowering the shadows, and therefore you are creating more separation between those two and you're creating contrast. And this is typically the way that most people use the tone curve and it's a fine way to use it, but there's a lot more that you can accomplish because you can be really precise with where you're adding and taking away brightness. So what I'd really like to do is add in a bunch of different points, especially in that mid-tone area, and I do more fine-tune adjustments in that instead of just doing this gradual S-curve. So if I wanna lift the blacks a bit, if I wanna adjust the mid-tones to make sure that the proper areas of the image are popping out, or if I wanna cool down some of the highlights, you can do all of that inside of the Tone Curve tool just by adding in those points and manipulating everything on the line. The one thing that you do need to keep in mind though is that when you are adding and moving points, that line is gonna be moving in different areas as well. So you need to make sure that you're compensating for that as those changes are being made. So that's how you use the tone curve to manipulate your exposure, but you can also use a tone curve to manipulate the color of your image as well. You'll probably notice that you also have a red, green, and blue line that you can manipulate also. And what this allows you to do is to shift the color of certain areas of your image in the same sort of tactile way that you can do with your exposure. So let's go ahead and start manipulating some of these colors. And you're gonna notice for each individual channel, as you raise the value, of that line for that specific color, you're gonna get more of it. So for example, the red, as I bring up the red, I'm gonna get more red. And as you bring down that individual color, you're gonna get what's on the opposite side of the color wheel, AKA the complementary color of that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start messing with the colors, bring down some of this red, and then I'll raise it a little bit in the highlights, go through to my green, do a similar thing. Get it to all about an even level. If I want a little bit warmer highlights, cooler shadows. Now that I got this image looking pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the before just to see how far we've come. Here's the before, pretty good image, and then after. And keep in mind, all of these adjustments have only been made inside of the tone curve. So you can almost pull off an entire edit just by using the tone curve, or you can just create a really good starting point and then manipulate it with all of the other great tools inside of your photo editor to get a really nice looking image. So my question for you then is, how do you use the tone curve? Do you use just the nice simple S curve or do you add in all the different points, go into all the different color channels and manipulate things, or do you not use it at all? I'm really curious to know. And if you're interested in learning more about photo editing, I've got a really helpful playlist I'll link up above and down below. It's got a ton of helpful videos to help you go from not knowing anything to editing like a pro. And while you're down in the description, I've also got a link to Lightroom presets, 
the gear that I use, the music I use for my videos, all that fun stuff. So feel free to check that out as well. Also, if you got value out of this video, don't forget to add some value right back to it by hitting that like button, it really helps out. And also consider subscribing to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that way you never miss out anytime I post a new video. And until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.